Hello, we've got a little project here to make a clipping path around these shoes because the client needs to be able to manipulate them on the screen and place them where they want around the type. The tricky part is this clipping path needs to have its shadows. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust it in camera raw. Now that I've opened it from Camera Raw into Photoshop, I am going through this with my magnetic lasso to get a general selection. Then I'm going through with my polygon lasso to clean up that selection. For this type of a selection project, you need a very, very tight clipping path. I will, in the end, feather it one pixel. Now that my basic selection is done, I'm going to separate these shoes into their own layers. Then I'm going to make a copy of each shoe and fill it with black. Go into transform and adjust it per shadow. I'm just basically copying the existing shadow and I'm going to try to reproduce it. Take it down 30% and repeat this process for all three shoes. After I'm done with this, I'm going to link, link each shoe to their shadow, put a mask on it, and invert those masks. Now I want to create a background layer, so I am using my eyedropper and my gradation tool and turning the new layer on and off to pick the eyedropper from the existing layer. And just looking at them, switching back and forth between the two layers to get an exact copy. Alright, now that my background layer is finished, I am going to turn that on and use my smudge tool to actually create the shadows. So what I did is select these shoes and paste white into these layer masks. Then I'm going to use my smudge tool to pull out that white to give it a nice organic feel to the shoe. And so I'm really just painting with the smudge tool right now. I will continue this process through all three shoes. Really, I'm just pushing and pulling the white around the screen on the layer masks. Using the smudge tools instead of my brushes. I'm going to play some type on the screen to show you what's going on. This is my shoes without any background. The shoes act totally independent of the background now and really can be placed anywhere on the screen. Thank you.